Hello everyone. Once again, I'm here with you. Uh, that some uh, CBSE updates came. So I think it is very necessary uh, for all the teachers, students, invigilators, central superintendent. It is uh, very essential for all. So that is why I want to present in front of you. And of course, this uh, video may be a little longer, but uh, it is more informative. So uh, just yesterday uh, on 27th, uh, this update came uh, and uh, what the updates are there that I want to uh, share in front of you. Let me take you to uh, my screen. Yeah. So today, actually, our main uh, things we are going to discuss will be discussing CBSD UFM case and support to the students. Means on what cases UFM happens to the student and uh, what we should do means what the guidelines should be given to the children so that they will be not they will not be coming under UFM. And this is very important for the students. Uh, and if the, if the students do not know, then definitely this case will be there. And what are the new, new CBSC update uh, latest by 27th, uh, 11th, yesterday, today 28th, yesterday night, this uh, update came just now and uh, presenting in front of you. And finally, I want to, I want to get your opinion and comment about uh, teachers, uh, private teachers and lectures welfare association. We have an association and I want to make it nationwide, all India level means we should have one, we should have registration and we should have a website and we should have one mobile application means there are teachers they have skills but they are not getting the good platform to develop their skills this is one thing and by that thousands of teachers can get benefit and that i'll be discussing at the end of this video but i am waiting for your opinion and comment definitely we should go for that we should support our teachers because now this is the right time to develop the right platform anyway so that we'll be discussing today's main topic without delaying let us uh, go to the uh, topic so in the last uh, uh, update uh, these are the some of the frequently asked questions given by different teachers and what the answer given by cbsc is presented here so for example uh, how many women must be checked by coordinator 20 percent all of you know that signature of the coordinator is mandatory actually the paper what is evaluated by the coordinator that must be uh, signed by the uh, coordinator only and uh, is it mandatory uh, as you can see that uh, for fairness of which is mandatory what are the things is uh, given by cbsc i am presenting here so that you can see quickly okay next how many omrs will be checked by different teachers i have presented here once you can go through that one so main topic I want to share with you, this is you can read and you can understand there is nothing new, uh, you can see that. Next, is PT teacher, our teacher can be engaged as evaluator, yes, uh, class 10 teacher, yes, everything is yes, what are the frequently asked questions are given, I am presenting in front of you. And next, uh, the duration of examination, duration of checking OMR sheet, everything is uh, mentioned here, you can go through that one and also. Uh, I'm sharing the link uh, for the PDF also you can see. Next, this point must, uh, must be noted. So till uh, yesterday, we had uh, means different officers, they are using different color of ink. But recently, uh, CBSC has given that invigilator will be uh, only the student will be using what? Only student will be using black or blue ballpoint pen besides students all the officers all the officers like invigilators evaluator coordinator observer and all other officers they will be using red 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 ink red ballpoint pen this point must be noted so now it is common so while invigilators entering into uh, for invigilation only red ink will be there in their hand no other color even coordinator also writing everybody should means the vsa wants the examination should be transparent no no other thing should happen and uh, dear teachers and students so uh, because of uh, carelessness of the invigilators there are some students career may be affected so that is why it is the duty of the invigilators, I mean assistant superintendent, they should guide the children to attend the OMR properly. 
so there are some cases uh, i heard actually uh, because of carelessness something happens so if anything happens uh, then we should uh, we should uh, guide the children so they should not come under ufm because that is the career of the students so now uh, next observer has to sign on the uh, all the OMR. Uh, this is all the, also given by uh, CBSC. Next, this all guideline uh, came yesterday in the night. I received this one. So immediately I want to uh, present in front of you. And while evaluation is going on, so the evaluator, they must check section Y. Suppose in section 25 questions are there section A. Out of 25, a student has to answer 20 questions or the compulsory questions. So then evaluator will check first 20 and remaining five that must be skipped uh, that must be skipped and one more thing is that the question what is skipped by the students must be what do you call encircle the hashtag uh, encircle must be done and that is the duty of the invigilator that they should guide the children how to attend OMR properly because there are still also some uh, cases are coming so that is why it is my uh, duty to inform you and that same thing mentioned by CBSC. Uh, on the latest uh, circular and uh, the invigilator must be uh, careful uh, while uh, student, they, they are guiding the students and one more thing all the students must write the option in small letter only don't use capital letter because it's already given by CBS instruction small letter should be used to write the options A, B, C, D because that will be read by yes this is the <laughs> exactly letter what is given by CBC, I have presented here. Next, uh, uh, how to evaluate and what is the right way to attend OMR that was I am presenting in front of you. See, these are the correct method, uh, what is given here. So, uh, this is exactly given by CBSC. You please uh, note down this one and help the children. And if any uh, anybody uh, facing any type of problems, kindly comment me so that what is possible from my side, definitely I will support you. My contact detail is there in the description. Uh, my uh, telegram number, WhatsApp number, contact number, everything is there. If anything is coming, uh, means you are not able to understand. So what the information I'm getting uh, from different source uh, regarding this examination, definitely I will support you and I will help you. So if anything happens, so kindly uh, don't feel free to contact me. So this is the right way uh, for the attending OMR and for the evaluation also. So please guide the student. But especially I have noticed this point number 17 and 18. These are the maximum major cases that happens with the children. So the invigilators, please be careful for these two, 17 and 18. So this is the things I don't want to make this video uh, so long and uh, I'm waiting for your comment, uh, so please uh, comment and you can ask me, uh, you can give your opinion so that we can proceed ahead and uh, these are the things. So goodbye once again, we'll meet uh, with the, a new video which is coming soon. Thank you.